We're in North Yorkshire on my Triumph T100 Bonneville. And this episode's a little bit more special than usual because we're actually camping tonight and I'm trying out my wingman of the road for the first time in this lovely countryside. So this is the bike. It's a 2017 Triumph T100 Bonneville. And uh, as you can see, she's pretty clean. 32,000 miles on the bike. And uh, this is it, pretty much fully loaded. We're heading now to a really cool part of North Yorkshire. In the Yorkshire Dales, it's called Buttertub Pass. I haven't been before. I think it's gonna be crazy busy because there are lots and lots of motorcycles out today. I think it's also quite popular with Everything's loaded. Everything's got a tripod fastened. Oh, I've got some bikers coming up here. <laughs> Getting the old knee down. Go for it. <laughs> Don't think I will be though. Thank you. All right, here we go. BMW R9 T. That's pretty nice. Very nice, actually. Quite a lot of bikes, guys. I told you there would be. You're in for a treat today. Oh, nice. Africa Twin. See, this is interesting because the spokes the spoked rims but the spokes are on the outside of the rim not in the middle which makes them easier to seal i think anyway uh so oh wow speedmaster nice oh rocket oh my gosh look at these bikes that's awesome all right rocket Nice Harley. Wow. Cool. Well, let's see about getting some chips or something. Oh, nice. Is that like an old gold ring or something? Nice scooter. Old Lambretta there. Just wanted to go off the bike here and uh, show you guys the view.
we'll slowly start making our way back now to the campsite. It's uh, around 50 minutes away, which is only 20 miles, but it, it's going to take quite a while to do. So, yeah, I think that's. See you later, butter tubs. <laughs> Well guys, we've arrived in Kettlewell and the uh, wingman is all pitched. The campsite is a little busy like I thought it might be. But um, I'm just going to have a little wander back into the village past an ice cream shop on the way in. So I think, well, if it's still open, might have dessert before we have uh, some tea. So we've got a couple options for tea. We've got some, um, some like dry frozen chilli or some sort of picnic bits so we've got a few choices for later on um, when we get back i'll show you a little bit around the the uh, tent setup uh, there's quite a few kids and stuff running around on the campsite so i didn't really want to be getting the camera out some people can get funny about that kind of stuff so um yeah i'll give you a little tour when we get back and uh yeah show what it looks like and then i'll also uh bring you along with this little journey into Kettlewell, uh, it's such a lovely little town. If you're ever in North Yorkshire, I uh, recommend you try it out. So the ice cream shop is called Yorkshire Dale's uh, Farmhouse Ice Cream and it's so nice. Uh, I went for two scoops of mint choc chip and uh, yeah, just everywhere you go in the Yorkshire Dales is just absolutely stunning. Nice little streams everywhere. And then just out on the main roadway, if we head out there. There's just really nice backdrops wherever you look. So good. So going biking by yourself is a bit of an odd one. You know, I'd probably probably prefer some company sometimes, but then at other times it's just nice to, uh, you know, chill by yourself, I guess. Like there's plenty of stuff you can do.
So one thing I did before I actually went to go for an ice cream was um, put my food in the communal fridge on the campsite. And um, that's just because it got a bit warm on the, the bike. Even though I did have an ice pack, um, I think just how useful it is that there's a fridge on campsites, most campsites actually. Um, some people might still eat food, so there is that risk, but um, hopefully they won't. There were all sorts in there, to be honest. There was a bottle of champagne, so someone must be doing some celebrating tonight. But uh, I'll just flip the camera around. So this is the entrance to Kettlewell. You basically come up this lane and turn into this uh, farmer's entrance. And I'm parked sort of way over in the corner there. So I'll wander over and then... Um, yeah, show you guys the setup. So these are the bits I've picked up for lunch. We've got a uh, Samford Orchards dry cider, fresh, kind of fresh baguette. <laughs> bit squished. Continental sandwich selection. That's got some chorizo and cheese. And then just like an assortment of other nibbles. Tomato mozzarella pastries. Bolognese something. And then some Mexican style chicken. So yeah, let's dig in. Well guys, it's been a pretty long day. Um, we're now at the campsite and I didn't really get a chance to show you around much. Uh, there were people playing music and I would have got done for copyright on YouTube. So I would have had to pull the video. So music stopped now so I can actually record. Um, yeah, basically I've had a bit of lunch and uh, sun's just about set now really. It looks, looks pretty nice out. But uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Um, so the tent's all rigged up. Using my motorcycle jacket for a pillow. Got the uh, little lantern there in case I need it in the night. And a little power bank for uh, charging some, some bits overnight. But I've um, got my stove here for in the morning to um, make a nice brew so other than that i think i will see you guys in the morning well good morning guys first night in the wingman done um it was interesting actually so um it got really cold actually in the night uh the temperature last night got down to about nine degrees and i felt it if i'm honest i was going to bring a blanket because 
be fair, wingman do say this tent and the built-in sleeping bag, or, or the sleeping bag they supply, should I say, um, is rated to about 10 degrees. Like, that's, like, the minimum you want to be going for, like, to be comfortable. Otherwise, you may want to change your sleeping bag uh, for a sort of more, um, for a hotter one, one that keeps you warmer. Well, this one did okay, but it did get cold. I was going to bring a quilt, but... Um, space on the bike with all the camera equipment meant that i couldn't i think with the blanket it probably would have been fine but it's about eight o'clock now in the morning and the sun has come up and it's sort of i'll just show you it as you can see like this side of the tent is all white this is dark and that's because the sun is on this side of the tent this morning and um it's so warm and nice so i'm just warming back up um i'm a bit sniffly because i have the hay fever on the grass and stuff like that but i'll be fine but um overall i mean space wise the tent was perfect and the mattress the the foam mattress was surprisingly comfortable um i think next time as we move into summer, the tent will be fine, and um, I can just use what I've already got. But perhaps if I use this tent again in spring, I think I'd be inclined to um, bring a separate sleeping bag. So take this one out um, to make the roll up smaller, and then um, use a more thermal like type sleeping bag so uh yeah on the whole amazing really pleased with it and um i think i'm gonna make a coffee now and um get down the road i think
Bonneville looks really good in the sun and uh, you can see the views around are just pretty nice um, that's where all the music was coming from last night in that corner there um, <laughs> it was quite funny at one point because it was all like Nirvana and heavy grunge not what you'd expect on a Yorkshire Dales campsite but I think that's just the reality you know you don't know who's going to turn up and um, you know it can have festival vibes even if you might just be going for quiet uh, chill vibes you know but um, it was what it was um, so yeah tent super dry um, there is a bit of moisture like morning dew on the, the grass but it's dry and uh, got my helmet on the hook just underneath that canopy and uh, yeah that's the setup really so I had my motorcycle jacket as um, the pillow last night well guys I think we'll wrap the video up there it's been amazing once again in North Yorkshire Butter Tubs Pass was absolutely spectacular the Triumphs done amazing the wingman tent super awesome if you're in the market for one i do recommend it and of course the triumph is just an amazing all-round bike this is the t100 so we're going to wrap the video up there if you've enjoyed it please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one